We, we do have a purpose here. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason I'd say it though, wasn't it? No, we, we, I don't, of course there's purpose. We, yeah. We're satisfying that purpose having this chat, but we wanted to talk, we wanted to focus in a little bit on high intensity training yeah. because it's popular. And there's a lot of people will say, okay, you know, you got to get out, you got to get the beach bod. Mm -hmm. The guys want to get into those, you know, those, those speedos for the summer and the ladies want to get into the bikinis yes. and say, well, how am I going to do that? Hit training. Hit training, yeah. So, um, not just the fad, there's a genuine, like, benefits to this, this form of training. So there, so there is actual reasons yes, to do it? Yes, 100%. So, um, it's, it's, I think it was, it was around 2014 when it became quite a, a modern latest latest thing on the fitness market. And then since then, it's always been commonplace now within training gym, within gyms, within personal trainers implementing. You hear it all the time. Yeah, you do. And it's not just the, it's not, it'll be here for a long term, long term. So there's many benefits and there's many ways of implementing it. Benefits. Um, you're short. You're working in shorter periods, so right. you can. So describe it. So when so, someone's when if someone's contemplating this, yeah. many of people might already be doing it and don't mm -hmm. even realize they are high intensity interval training. Okay. So it's about a lot um, shorter bursts of um, high intensity from. 80% heart rate up to 95% heart rate. Yeah, so, I mean, so that's putting yourself right yes, out there. It's up, up there. And then that then uh, coincides with a recovery period, which is active or passive recovery. And it's just a case What's of... What's the difference? Um, active is keeping on the move, lower intensity, low jog, slight jog. Okay. Passive is just standing still. So they're the two differences. Passive, it passive, passive. Just it, it just speaks wrong to me. Yeah. Do well, it just it depends probably on your fitness level okay. and and where your heart rates are and the time it takes to reduce and whether you like to just keep moving or whether okay. you're a person that stands still. So probably depends on the fitness level and the the individual and right. their preferences. So high intensity, eighty to ninety five percent heart rate looking and then into a recovery period of 40 to 50 percent heart rate All right. so you can wear a heart rate monitor for that yeah. which links up to a watch you are you can a wear heart rate monitor watch. guy are you big into the heart rate um, monitors i not really but if people are conscious of yeah, yeah. You know, often you can just tell from your own breathing right. and your own. Just sit there exertion. and do, do the do the the, you know, the whole the pulse. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, ten you, seconds. Yeah, I mean, even that you don't need to. I would say, you know, if you don't want to invest in heart rate monitors, you can just go. It doesn't. Ha it doesn't have to be exactly in that zone. It can just be high intensity, low intensity, okay. and it, that's the basic ways. But they're the exact percentages yeah. that they say to reach in. Now, these intervals can be done from five seconds up to eight minutes huh so these work periods yeah. obviously the longer you work the lower the intensity will be okay okay gotcha. for example and um, this can be done in there's a number of protocols there's a number of ways it can be done it can be done in 30 seconds on 30 seconds off it can be done in um 30 seconds on one minute off oh, you know okay. and it depends on the fitness levels so you say you're always coming back to that depends yeah. what, as you get involved in any of these things so you're going to go to, into high intensity interval yeah, training it, 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 it's it's you, you can't just jump in right at the top you got to work your it's bespoke it's, yeah 100 percent. It, everyone's different and that that's what the better trainers will do is consider that a sedentary person that's first through the door has never done anything to yeah. someone that's um a weekend warrior as you described previously yeah, just, you know but it's got not half decent fitness levels yeah People often these circuit type gyms will go in and go, right, we're doing 10 at stations, full body circuit, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Yeah. How are them two gonna even compete? It's not, it's not, you know, right. it's not it's not feasible. It's not and that's why it's probably better to have a trainer because you going into group circuits, it's very difficult to manage the two. Um, but then it's gotta be the right trainer that knows how to progress things and, yeah. and move on from there. But so you can have so you have your work high intensity periods you have your low intensity periods now the fitness levels as i've been talking about you could say okay so if it's a high intensity interval session for someone that's of a decent fitness level let's go 30 seconds all out 30 seconds off 
then if we want to increase that intensity, we might go 20 seconds recovery, 15 uh, seconds okay, recovery. So They're doing three rounds of it. It could be eight to 10 exercises, uh, two, three minutes recovery in between. And, gotcha. and then for someone that's of a new fitness level that's come into, um, is new to exercise, they can still do the hit, but it's just delivered in the right way. So it could mm. be, it might be a lower intensity. So we're only hitting around 80% heart rate. It's lower exertion. Um, they get in, they're working for 20 seconds, they get a minute off. Great, gotcha. They work for 20 seconds, they get a minute off. Yeah. You know, and, and we move between stations. Um, again, to make the intensity driven up a little bit, it can be, there's two different ways you can do this. You can do it, you can do cardio type exercises where you're on the rower and you might be doing rower for 20 seconds, have a minute off, 20 seconds. And ultimately, it's about getting your heart rate to spike and then come back down. Okay. Go up, come back down. And that's why that's why the bigger recovery periods for the more, um, the less of, the, you, the fitter you are, the quicker your heart rate comes down. Okay. That's the ultimate sign of fitness. And what, what do, what, where does this lead us to if we're doing high intensity interval training? What, is this gonna give us more stamina? Yes. Is this... So the, the benefits are increased um, fitness levels, increased stamina, increased um, um, cholesterol profile. Wow, oh, okay. Insulin sensitivity, these are all things that are gonna come into play. Um, and also it, it drives the metabolism as well. Mm -hmm. So what actually happens is when you're working, um, it's like an oxygen deficit afterwards and you're still breathing and your heart and lungs are still working post session and your metabolism's revved up. So post hit mm -hmm. session, you're still burning calories. So, so how, these are the how, benefits. How long do you have that after burn time? How long is... It's probably gonna, well... It, it depends on everyone, to, right? Yeah, <laughs> it depends on your own individual metabolism, but it, ah. but can, it can last up to hours. Really? Yeah, yeah, it can still, because you kick starting that metabolism, you find it up, and then what you find is the more meta more muscle you got, the higher, the faster your metabolism ah, works. Okay. So I, I think I mentioned that previously, and so more muscle, more metabolism, the quicker your metabolism, more weight loss. So it's harder for your metabolism right. to work. So that's why it's always good to implement strength training. And this can be done with, HIIT training can be done on cardio equipment, uh -huh. rowers, bikes, runners. 20 seconds on, one minute off. Again, you consider that person. As that person, cycling is easier than running. Mm -hmm. So you might say, okay, let's do cycling in the sense that you're seated, yeah. there's less pressure on the knees, cross trainers, da da da. Yeah. Many benefits, you can do it in a short, condensed time in comparison to doing 50 minutes of moderate exercise. Right. So, um, or they can do the other side of things, which is body weight exercises. But you they can get the strength included in this as well. And so you can still do high with, interval int intensity yeah. training with, with weights, okay. Yeah, with weights or with or body weights. Body weights, yeah. So okay. it's like... Push-ups, um, sit-ups. Like yes, so. push-ups. Chin-ups. Yes, all these type of things. Um, and then it's manipulating the timing, depending on the fitness levels. A good example for a person new to the gym and wanting to try this hit stuff could be they go in, they do three sessions a week. It could be one, they could have a high intensity or a low intensity on a Monday. Uh -huh. Wednesday's a low intensity. And then we have Friday, which is a high intensity again. And then they, all they would do is maybe 10 minutes of 10 to 20 minutes. And you just do on the rower, one session could be the rower or the cross string or the bike and you do 20 seconds on, one minute off. And then you tailor that, depending on how you feel in exertion levels. Mm, okay. 20 seconds on, one minute off. This includes a little five minute warm up, a little yeah. five minute cool down, and then by the end of it, you've done 20, 30 minutes. So that's not bad. So 20, no. that's all it takes? Yeah, 20, 30 minutes, yeah. three times a that's week, and I, I can probably start yeah. to see some results. 100%, 100%. Uh -huh. And then then in the in the, the, the the Wednesday could be a lower intensity, so they might go, okay, we're gonna not exert yourself as much with the heart rate. We'll maybe go on the cross trainer. Mm -hmm. um, not exert yourself as much, we'll go maybe a little bit longer recovery time, but we'll still have a quite a, a 20 seconds where we're gonna still work hard, but maybe not as hard as we did on the, right. on the Monday session. This is on the Wednesday or whatever. Okay. And then the Friday you could go again, 20 on, one minute off. And then this could be manipulated, they could be 20 on, a minute and a half off, you know, it just depends on that person, that fitness yeah, level. Yeah. Um, but then high spikes of pushing yourself, it's, it's apparently said, I think it was, um, it's, if by doing, f there was a study where 
there was a one minute workout. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've heard of these. I've heard of these. <laughs> right, and they did this study where it was 20 seconds on, yeah. um, one minute off, three times, and they did that three times a week. And apparently that was more um, beneficial than the person that done 50 minutes of consecutive moderate ex exercise for yeah. the week. Interesting. So, so there's the, 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 the straight way that that's, okay, so, and this has been around for years, but just implemented in different ways. There's yeah. been like runners and, and people who've done like sprints and then recovered, sprints and recovered. Then it's been like Olympians that have used this, but it's never been called probably what it's called now. Um, and one which uh, leads me on to um, Tabata training. That was another one. So this is, you probably heard Tabata, yeah. which is a HIIT training, and it's, a, um, it's, an, it's just an, a, another form of protocol of a HIIT training. There's okay. different ways of implementing. The Tabata training is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. off. Now, this is very difficult for <laughs> most people. <laughs> well, how many reps are we, do how many reps you know, are we doing in that? Well, in 20 yeah. seconds, you probably get five, six reps out, depending, Jeez. you know. But what, what it, they're saying is heart rate spikes, it recovers now obviously you can imagine 10 seconds gonna yeah. for the majority of people for that to reduce it's gonna take a lot of um, it's gonna be a lot harder yeah. for the majority of people sure so it's a Japanese scientist called Tabata his last surname was Tabata I forget his first name and he come up with this study where it was four minutes of work 20 seconds on 10 seconds off the heart rate spikes it recovers it was four lots of four minutes. Right. And this, this Tabata, I do Tabata quite a bit. Okay, this and is your thing? Yes, this is my thing. And that is another protocol of, of, of training, but obviously it's a slide and scale of doing HIIT training can be done by all. Yeah. It's just delivered in the right manner. As I always talk about, the right um, timings, the right, um, it's bespoke to the, right, to the individual. Yeah. You know, and HIIT training can be done. It, it's more cost, uh, time efficient, hmm. half an hour, you know, doing, no, I like that doing idea. 10 like, minute blocks. I mean, it's more fun. Yeah. It's not just continuous, moderate. You know, even yeah. if you go on a run, you could do, even just do running down the road. You could do like three to three, that, you know, 20 that's all, second I, blast. That's almost what I do. I do uh, about a minute. I'm, I'm running out at a nice pace, and yeah. then I do a, 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 a you know 25 second walk, mm -hmm. then a, yeah. a moderate pace, yeah. then an, and bar partially it's because the dog likes to yeah. stop. So there's there's it's we've oh, just yeah. worked it into the time, oh, yeah. and he's just going okay. So we're gonna go all nice. out, and, and it's and it really, yeah. I find it really works, and it, it kind of cuts. To, you know the big thing with this kind of training, if you're following your pattern and if you're you're sticking to it, it can help to reduce injuries. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm, I'm yeah. shocked because then when I just go to a, yeah, I'm just going to go do a 5K run, 10K run. And just, I find I develop more challenging things, mm -hmm. little things that creep in. And let's just call them injuries, you know, that I don't get when I'm doing an interval training yeah. style workout. It's That's weird. It. And, it's, it, and weird. It's, it's, it's a different form of training. And it's not just the monotony of running for 50 minutes yeah. continuous. And that, that three minute study, three one minute study that I spoke about the three times. Yeah. Um, that were, that fifty minutes was three times a week as well. Wow. So they were saying that them free in, that them intervals were more effective than that. You know. Mm. So massive benefits to it. Highly recommend it. If you're just starting out with hit training, start with a lower um, a lower time working period. Have bigger recovery periods. Maybe ten minutes might be the first time. Then next time might be fifteen minutes. Hmm. 20 to 30 seconds maybe if you can manage it or 15 up to 30 seconds that might be a more manageable um, 80 to 95 percent heart rate recovery minute minute and a half let it drop down to 40 50 percent that can either be done standing or just with a light cycle or whatever yeah. you may be doing running whatever yeah. and then um, three times a week six weeks and then you can then over that time start to then build it into a moderate intensity program for six weeks. This is just for the beginning I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then it might be that they do in only one minute recovery and they worked up to 20, 30 seconds. Right. And then it starts to then flip and obviously the, uh, the, the recovery time reduces, the intensity increases. Hmm. 
from there. And then that can be coinciding with like a hit session bodyweight training, which could be, I don't know, what have I wrote down here? I come up with a, eight exercises. It could be a press up, um, 20 seconds on, one minute off, press ups, step ups, pull ups, pull ups, squats, dips, burpees, rows, as in a TRX row. Okay, okay. hold on. Let's go. Yeah, see so we're getting that. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna, okay, okay, I'm gonna write this down. So let's go so so let's go the, the first the first exercise. First up, press ups. Okay, so that's just press normal ups. push ups to make okay. it easier. You incline your body, so you, the higher you are, you can even do from a door frame and do a push up. Okay. Now the lower your body is, more parallel to the floor, the harder it's gonna be. And then and to make it more difficult, you put your feet higher, so then it's into a decline position. Are we talking a minute on, 20 seconds off? You can do this in a number of ways. This can be done in 30 seconds on, okay. one minute off, um, and it depends on the level again. 30. So rank amateur, beginner, yeah. someone who's just- 20, 30 seconds. Okay. 30 on, 30 off. Yeah. Okay. 30, well, depends, again, this depends. This could be 30 seconds on, 45 to one minute off. Okay. You know, and then, how many, how many reps am I doing? Well, in that time, 30 seconds, you're probably gonna get about eight to 10 reps. Okay. Right that. So if I'm doing 30 seconds on, a minute off, yeah. how many times am I gonna do that? You're gonna, before? well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from, there'll be 10 stations. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go, all right, yes. okay, gotcha. So it will be like a push up okay. into step ups, which right. will be. How high do you want me to step up? Step up, well, depends what you have available <laughs> to you. I'm talking step ups as in like strength type exercise rather than ah, okay. rather than a little step where you- So we're talking a good two feet kind yes, of thing if you yes. can find that. Yeah, stepping up onto- Like a stepping stool or- Something like that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good so getting way. some height. Yeah, getting height, stepping right up. Then you could go into door frame rows or- So what, now what is that? So squat position, arms on either side of the door, uh -huh. pull yourself in, pull yourself back. If you can get two chairs, get underneath, pull yourself in, pull yourself up, okay? okay? Anything like that. There's, so number three, door frame or pulls, inverted row, you could call yeah. it. Okay. Uh, squats, four. Now squat is just your basic everyday. Yeah. Keep shoulder, your back straight. Shoulder width apart. Yeah. Sit back as if you're sitting into a chair. So make sure back your posture is going right. Yeah. yeah. Shoulder blades pulled back. Which sounds easy, but they're hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can be. They can be hard. They can and, be hard. And these can be made into a little bit more cardio based because the squat could be a jump squat oh. as well. So a little bit more of a higher intensity spike. Um, heart rate right, raiser. Okay. Um, gotcha. Dips. Okay, what did Not, oh. not um, salsa, we're talking, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking normal, off the bench, off a chair, okay, you're off just the going couch, down. elbows bend to 90 degrees what, what, and below. Where are, my, where are my legs? What are, Legs are straightened out. Okay. So bend straight. them if you want to make it easier. Yeah, yeah. Closer your knees are to your, the, the joint, to the hip joint, the easier it's going to be. The straighter the legs, the harder it's going to be. Uh -huh. You want to keep vertical as possible, chest nice and upright. Just nice and upright, sorry. Yeah. And um, don't let your shoulders round forward. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That, that, that's what always happens. This, but if you do that, you put a lot of pressure on your shoulder joints. Yeah. So you want to keep okay. nice and close to that, to the uh, bench or chair or wherever you're doing it on. And then let yourself drop it. Treat it as a vertical movement rather than um, horizontal. Okay. So we're not going forwards, we're moving up and down. I want to go back, right back up to the, to the, the, the press-ups, the push-ups. Yep. One of the big things I always notice with people is bad hand position. So not close mm. enough to shoulders. I mean, there's lots of different variations. Yeah, there's different variations. But I and... notice sometimes people have their hands mm. really too wide. They've got them, you know, if you if yeah. you keep your push-ups and you keep your hands right around shoulder Yeah, just a bit wider than shoulders. But if you keep them sort of at the mm -hmm. shoulder positioning, as opposed to sometimes people correct. do them, it's a totally different yeah, thing. Correct. Yes. And I, I find sometimes people just... Yeah, it just yeah. changes the biomechanics of the yeah. movement and the, the pressure on the shoulder joints or the chest yeah. um, recruitment of the muscle fibers and the closer it is, the more you get your triceps involved and wider it is, you're gonna recruit the chest a bit more and put it to the joints favor away so then it's more difficult away from the body. So just a bit wider than shoulders, mm. um, in line with the shoulders, roughly the hands 
a bit wider okay. and elbows go down to 90 degrees and just making sure there's a straight line through the body from the heel right through to the head. That's what sometimes what I do with these yeah. things. I haven't done them in a while. I just get, I get a shake on. Yeah. And it is, yeah, it's easy. The hips drop and you kind of think, oh man, like really? Yeah, that's it. The muscles just really, they literally then they, 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 they act in a mice and these little fiber heads are joining and contracting. And as they contract and make the muscle contract, right. they're actually connecting on and then dropping off and connecting and dropping off. And that's why we're shaking. Okay. Uh, as they move. Yeah. Through. There's nothing better though when you're when you start off and you know, you give yourself up like three weeks and you're going through and doing these routines. By the third week, you kind of go, man, I've 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 developed some strength. I can yeah, do yeah, more. Yeah. It's, it's great, isn't it? That's a really good it's measure because really, yeah. you, you need to see the progress. It's subjective at some point. measure, that's yeah. it, isn't it? You know, you can see that you're making progress. Yeah. And um, it, it's like it's been around for years. The king, isn't it? The yeah. king of the exercises, <laughs> the push up, the press up, the interchangeable term, but. Um, to make it harder, as I said, you put your feet higher. Oh yeah. And then to make it easier, you just do it from a, a higher um, angle, which is you know inclined. And mm. and I don't, the reason I don't like telling people to go to the knees because it doesn't get your core engaged. Okay. I'd rather them do it from an inclined position that's suitable to them to get more core engagement rather right. than bending the knees and dropping down. Okay. I hate seeing that happen. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I always recommend. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, you've got your- it's Push-ups, step-ups, door frame rows, squats, squat, dip. dips, baby, the king of the oh, exercise, man. just to give a little bit of a high intensity. But this, the good thing on this is it's working everything, chest, shoulders, lower body, back as you step, as you're jumping down to the floor. And also, um, it can be regressed and progressed. The progression can have a tuck jump at the top. The regression okay. is you break it down into stages. You step down into a squat, you put one hand on the floor, you put the other hand on the floor, ah. you step your right leg back, you step your left leg back in a straight line in a plank position. Right. You bring your right leg in, your left leg in, you step up, hands off the ground, stand up, you go back down. Literally, regressions can be done for everything. I like that. Just delivered in the right manner. And, and knowing, and, you know, because people go, oh, babies, like, you know, and <laughs> you, they're, they're, they're brilliant, but it's got, it, it would be, very naive of me to go to someone who's like a beginner, do babies, do babies, do just yeah. do it like everyone else. You need to the be the best the better people, coaches will, will regress and progress and there needs to be level systems to exercises and mm. tiers. So they you can challenge with the right stimulus for the right individual.